Hi, my name is Julie Sando. I'm the director of Autistically Inclined, where we do natural play therapy. This video is going to be a little bit of information on a big topic, which is interest and expanding, showing interest in what your child loves to do and expanding upon it when they're more connected. Um, so one point to keep in mind with this is there's a myth out there about autism that is so not true. And that is that kids with autism do not imitate. Very, very, very not true. They might not do it in the same way that neurotypical kids do, um, but it does not mean that they do not imitate. So one of the important pieces to remember when we're creating a game and interaction with a child is to be natural, be real world with them. Um, if we are robotic, they're going to be more robotic. If we are asking them tons of questions over and over and over, they're going to learn to ask tons of questions over and over and over. Um, and likewise, if we're always woo, 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 trying to get their attention, that's what they're going to think that the real world is like. And so when they go out into the real world and not everyone is like that, it's a shocking wake up call. Um, so it's important to be real and be genuine and bring a variety of different types of people and interactions with your, with your child to them. Um, so, create space for that variety. Bring in different team members who have different interests, who have different ways of being with your child. That's a huge gift. If everybody's always the same, that's gonna be a scary wake-up call when it's time for them to go out into the real world. So make sure you bring in variety and bring in lots of different types of people to get your child um, exposed to everything that the world has to offer. Thanks.